Hey guys, this is O4 Saz, and I have found something weird on Facebook. Yes, this is a game called Heroes, Heroes, Heroes of Neverwinter. It's a base game which is supposedly made and sponsored by Dungeons and Dragons. And I am a Dungeons and Dragons nerd, so this instantly caught my attention. So I'm going to see what it's like with you guys. Would you like to create a new character in this slot? Hmm, yeah. Ooh. Right, we get to choose what we are. There's like basic setup. There's a fighter and a dragonborn, eldritch wizard, human cleric, or rogue halfling. I want to create my own one. Right, what we got race-wise? Right, we have a dragonborn. Not really much in the way of choices, are there? I've noticed that. Dexterity, intelligence, uh, constitution, and wisdom. What are half things? Dexterity and charisma. I like the thought of being a huge dragon, but not sure about cleric. Uh, fighters are all right. I'm gonna be a dragon wizard. Yeah. Right, now this is a basic. She's got black eyes. This is based on world. This is actually based on the Dungeons and Dragons leveling system of 4.0, which is always very interesting. So basically, I can put points into the cop my scores. When I have a certain amount of points, it gives me a bonus. So naturally, being as I am a wizard, I have to have a high intelligence. What a Wow, I've spent all my points very quickly. Uh, don't really care about dex. Don't really care about con or strength. Wisdom is enough. I'll sink. Damn it, I don't have enough. Take one point of whiz, put it into charisma. Because I like being charismatic. Oh, it's very different. Wizard, Rogue, so I can hit points. So I don't actually need any wisdom, so I can put it straight into Con. For looks it doesn't, I don't need that. I'll just put that into Con. And I have a point left. Uh, I put in a point into Strength. I'm done. And I just need to blow my nose. That's the good thing about having being ill. Nah, I'm not ill. I just got many nice cold. Pretty much in the way of choice, is there? You? A gilly face? Uh. They freeze heads. Yeah, McGilly face. Name. Yes. To Neverwinter. I wonder what this is going to be like. Your daily bonus. Yeah, this is definitely a wow game, isn't it? So not wow game. Facebook game, obviously. Right. This is going to be interesting. There's mercenaries, an adventure board, a dungeon workshop. Ooh. My house. Okay. It's quite bare. It is. That's. In right. I have. A workshop, a chest of wonder, and achievements. Okay, let's go to the adventure board. Let's recruit some friends, actually. Searching for available heroes. Well, as a wizard, I will need... 
I will need a team to help me. Alright. I have hired a rogue, a cleric. I also need a fighter to take the brunt of the enemy attack. go. Barkeep. <laughs> Purchase food, drinks and tools to trade. Jeriff uh, the recruiter. Okay, okay. So let's head out. The ruins of Ilifen. The crags. Neverwinter wood. Neverwinter itself. All the Goblin Fornis or the Sword Mountains. Let's do the cop. Go. Nope. How do you use this? Head to Neverwinter. Never death. Ne Never death. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, normal. Please. I'd rather not die straight away. Wait for it to load. You arrived in Never Winter's Child's Adventure Schools to Lord Never Ember. Alright. And her death. So she's going to lose why the dead has risen again. I'm going to have fawn. Alright. So I need to click to move. Okay. So, upon entry, you come to the sense your president turns on a gaze on you with an unsettling stillness. Destroy it. Okay, now this is proper D and D combat by the looks of it. It's basically starts off with turns where you can move, shoot, etc. Right, then it's the rogue. Now I move behind the skeleton. We've got infantry. Sly flourish. Or stunning blow. Stunning blow. Oh. Well, that was easy. End your turn. Fawn, move around. This is one nice place. Nice place they have here. Four more. Yay. Oh, they all get to shoot at me first. Ow! No, my rogue! Did I just hit my cleric? You never shoot the cleric. Healing word. Well, once we encounter. Basically, what you're getting what encounters mean is basically. Encounters are like this. Any battle counts as an encounter. So basically, I'll just use that. I can't use it to the end of this fight. Lucky me. Uh, let's see, that's an at will. Same blows an encounter. I want to hit you with a sly flourish. I can't do anything else on you, so I'll end my turn. Yes. The awesome one have cast his spells. Dragon Breath out of range. I don't remember. Really but I can do magic missile. Yes, I am a dragon pro. That's my turn. I move the fighter up. I can't attack anything from this range, can I? Hmm. I use dragon breath. That's a 
quite cool air effect. Yeah. Oh, there's actually a map. I didn't notice in the bottom left there's actually a map of the area. Combat advantage. Right, just strike. Strike. Water. Can you search for the fart on the other end of the room? Yeah. yeah. Let's go, I can't see anything. More skeletons disturb the ancient crypt. One wields a pitted longsword and appears stronger than the other. Which is that one. Normal skeleton. Yeah, these are actually based on proper D&D &D mo monsters. Hit him with starting blow! Now he should be stunned until the end of the rogue. I think it was the end of the rogue's next turn. Yeah, it's basically when it's the rogue's turn. Again, at the end of it, he'll be unstunned. I think I am going to. Hit here with righteous strike. And then move into the corner out of the way. This is the fighter. I want him to go after those bastards. Take these guys out. Here, it's my turn. Arcane missile! This is actually pretty close to how 4th edition D&D &D combat is near enough. There's the rogue. Victory is mine! Loot. Select a card. Alright. Please, give me something cool. Seriously? Helm hold journey bread. <sighs> Who thinks up these thing quest rewards? I mean, honestly. 